Hello everybody, my name is Kevin, welcome to K-Reef and today we're gonna look at all these nice goodies. So, uh, people that are in my Facebook group, they probably have seen some pictures from uh, some orders I did. And uh, let's see what I got. So, first we take for uh, my new videos the camera. It's the Sony HDR CCX. 625. I don't know how good this camera is because I'm using it for the first time. So just as you, I will see when this video is finished if it's any good, yes or no. And I have this DV60, no, 96V LED light from what's the name again? Falcon Eyes. Uh, it's dimmable, uh, it has uh, barn doors and uh, some colors, uh, like orange, the orange filter is on it to give it a little more sun color and then you have a bright one also, or just a black barn doors. So, <coughs> I will show you fast what camera I'm using. So. Here's the new camera with the microphone. And the lamp and the tripod, of course. As you saw, everything is standing onto a tripod. It's this one from Hama the Star 61 it was cheap but I think it's really good quality it's strong and uh, I think very durable I also got myself this mini tripod uh, also again it, it feels really strong I'm going to use it of course for filming uh, on the table or, or on the on another stand or something so and the mic the shotgun from Sony uh, why did I take a Sony shotgun because this one fits straight on the hot shoe uh, you don't need cables or anything or if you take an other brand of microphone you will have to put an adapter on it on the hot shoe to make it fit let's go over to the stuff for the tank max pick gyre xf 230 and the controller the boxes are empty because it's already in the tank and I hope to find a second uh, pump soon because you can fit two pumps on one controller. We have this to take stuff out or in the tank so I don't always have to go with my hands in it. Garlic oil from Aquaforest. I have some power food for uh, feeding my corals. Aquaforest carbon and I am using that in the Aquaforest reactor. The reactor later on I will do a review because I think it's a really nice one. Good quality, good build. So more uh, about the reactor soon. I have this small uh, refractor check 
to calibrate the refractometer. Then some food, bionautic flakes from topical, tropical and bionautic granulate. The fish love it. This one I bought second hand is an Aquamedic Milt Reactor. It's the smallest one. Of course not for the big tank but for a later project. It was so cheap I couldn't leave it. Then the AT Carbon X. It's an air filter that you connect with the hose with a hose to the air intake from your skimmer. So we're gonna try that out. And of course the ATE Essentials, bottle one and two I had to buy because they're running out and number three yeah in the last weeks I'm not using bottle number three because my magnesium stays really high and so I don't have to dose it for now. I don't know if I missed something. Yes, of course, you've probably seen it. I have the RT RC L -l 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 ICP test. Very important. I'm going to test the water for the tank and, of course, my RO water. There is always a vial with, with a red cap for your RO water. And they will test that as well. So that's it for now and uh, oh yeah I also have a nice nice bag for the camera. Oh and there is one order that still has to come in. Uh, it are three things. Yeah actually two things but uh, one thing is double. So I want to thank you all for watching and soon after my vacation we will have some more videos and an update about the tank and uh, yeah hopefully the other order is in then also thank you all for watching bye bye